Hi, my name is Darren Sanchez. I'm from the Orangetown Recreation Department and I run the comic book class on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Hello, my name is Andy Sanchez from the Orangetown Recreation Department and I run the circus class on Wednesday afternoons. Uh, welcome to our virtual recreation online class. Uh, today we're going to learn how to draw basic uh, figures um, using shapes. So uh, we'll do it together. Um, now, uh, I work at Marvel and I'm, I've been in the comic book industry for, for over 20 years. Uh, I'm, I'm a writer and an editor. I'm not a professional artist, but I do like to draw. Um, he's also not a professional artist. I'm a so. novice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, that, this should be fun. Okay, so draw along with us and if, uh, if you mess up, then you can just hit pause and uh, then catch up to us and, and, and play again. So uh, we're going to start with basic shapes um, and draw lightly because the guidelines that we're drawing at, at a point you're going to erase some of the guidelines. All right. Now we're going to start with a, a basic figure that you can use as the template to draw just about any superhero. Um, so first we start with a circle. Um, if you want your, your hero to look cute, we'll give him some kind of baby cheeks. So not too much, but he's going to puff out a little bit with the cheeks on both sides. Should those start at the center? It starts at the center line where, where the ear would be. So right at the center and kind of puff out just a little bit. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Now, for the chest, um, for, for a cute figure, we want the head bigger than the chest. So the chest is going to be a small circle, and it will slightly overlap um, the head. So it comes in like that. Can we try that again? OK. And now, for the bottom of the torso is an equal, uh, maybe even slightly smaller uh, sized circle that also overlaps, almost like an upside down snowman is what we're, we're, we've got going on so far. Okay, now the, uh, the head, we're going to draw the center line of the head. Now, before, before he goes, we could do this line in fact, yeah, let, let's, let's do it. We'll, we'll do the line slightly off-center so that it's a little more dynamic and your, your figure is kind of looking not perfectly straight, but it's just a slight angle. That's fine. Okay, and then the, uh, the chest all the way to the bottom uh, of the snowman, we're going to do a similar one with a, with a curved line. There you go. And now we're going to give him where the arms would be. These are the arm sockets. So give him some arm sockets. And those are slightly above the center of the middle circle? Um, they don't go up to the head all the way, but they're higher than the center. So they're the, where the shoulders would be. Okay, and then here by the, the bottom, these are where the legs will attach. So one on one side of that bottom line and one little line on the other side of the bottom line. And then right about there, another one. Those are guides for where the legs are going to come out of the body. So really, it, it, you could kind of do that too. All right, so it looks a little bit like BB-8 with an extra part on it. Um, so now, uh, we'll do the face. Uh, actually, what, what character do you want to draw? We could do pretty much any character. Uh, I mean, most characters, but we got to decide who we're drawing. This is the point where you start adding some detail, so you need to know what you're going to draw. So, I would like to do Marvel's Iron Man. Okay, uh, all right, so we'll do Iron Man. Iron Man has about 50 different armors, maybe more, that he's worn in movies and comics. So you can kind of mess around a little bit with the armors, um, but we'll do Iron Man. All right, so the first thing you want to do, starting right here, uh, 
about halfway up the head is to make us a very, very faint line. It's going to also be curved. Um, it's, it's because when you're drawing a dynamic figure, you don't want them to be looking completely straight. You kind of want them to get that, that uh, tough guy a uh, uh, little, little lower. You want to come down a little watch. bit. Yeah, imagine like, like, like your, your uh, eyes on your head when you, uh, when you look down. Okay, now uh, we can draw Iron Man's eyes. Uh, and Iron Man's eyes are basically rectangles. Okay, so we can draw the eyes right on the eye line. Okay, and as far as how far apart they are, imagine that there's another rectangle right in the center. So it should be three eyes across. And uh, should they curve along the line or no? Uh, well, you don't want to curve a, a rectangle, but you, you can angle it. You can, you can angle it. There you go. And then you can get rid of that guideline. Uh, it's easier for us on this dry erase board because it's just, you just touch it and it just comes off. Okay, and also the mouth is very similar to the eyes, but sometimes you'll see uh, in, in comics they'll take liberties with the shape of the mouth, and you might see them do something like that if they want them to look angry. You might see them uh, do something like that if they want them to, to kind of look like he's cracking a joke. Uh, you, you can really uh, do very subtle things with the mouth. Uh, we're just going to do the rectangle. Um, and it goes right on the center line, and it can be a slightly different shape than the eye, either wider or smaller or whatever you like. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as the eye. Okay, now for the armor, um, we can use this guideline in the middle here. Uh, Iron Man's armor, the old school armor has a point, and that's probably the easiest one to draw. So we'll come up from the guideline in the center right to there, then do it again here, all right, and now we can erase that extra part of the circle that we extended the cheeks a little bit, and gave them some chipmunk cheeks to make them cute. Don't worry, uh, like I said, you can pause it if you're not caught up. All right, now the arms, the arms are going to, this is like a straight arm and the hand at the end, okay? Our arms are going to come out and get kind of wider as they get to the end and then the hand will be out here. Okay, so that's going to be basically the, the, what we're trying for. So what we'll do first is the bend in the arm we're only going to bend one arm. The other arm is going to have an Iron Man type of pose. It, it would come from the bottom of the uh, shoulder, shoulder socket and, uh, and then go back into the body. Okay, um, And then it starts off at the top of the shoulder socket and it gets a little wider as it gets to the elbow and then it comes down and gets wider like that kind of curves in. All right, and then you give it, you can clear that out a little bit if you like, you can give it a, a larger fist. Just draw kind of a curved edged rectangle, and that would be the fist. Now, in Marvel, every hero has their own pose. Uh, Wolverine has the claws. Spider-Man is always crouched or bent or something like that. Iron Man tends to always be doing that or flying like that. So we're going to give him the hand out pose. Now, there's something called foreshortening. It's kind of an advanced technique. But for instance, if I look at you and I put my hand out, you can see my hand is, is larger. It's not like it's back here like this. So we're going we're gonna to assume it's kind of like that. So let's take Iron Man's hand and we're going to give him just four fingers um, to make him cute. So, first thing we do is draw a rectangle, well, draw like a circle, out, 
out in front of them like that. All right, now we're going to give him three fingers so we can, we can do something like this, like a little kind of fan on top. That's going to be your guide for the fingers. And then the thumb would be here, so we'll give him that. Now for the fingers, all you have to do is come down once like that, and then once like that. Okay, and a Y shape. Yeah, it, it, you're making two Ys inside of that little fan that we just drew. Okay, and then you erase the tips. How did you get there? I, I missed that. You just erase these two tips to open up the fingers. The tops, right, right here. That. Okay. And that. Okay, and now we also give him a big circle in his hand for, what's that called? The repulsor. The, for his repulsor ray. <laughs> All right, now, that wasn't a quiz, I actually forgot. Um, so now we're going to extend his arm forward, and really all you have to do is from this bottom of the shoulder to here, kind of draw a curved line, just like that. From the, from the bottom of that shoulder socket that we made, right to the bottom of his hand. Curved. It, it slightly curves as it gets to the hand. Downward or upward? Underneath and then up. Okay. Okay, and then you start at the top of the shoulder socket, and you go right to the middle of the thumb, and you can stop. No curve? No, it's, it's going to just disappear behind his thumb. Okay, now for the legs, uh, we're going to do something a little different since it's Iron Man. We're going to go straight down, straight down. This one's, his legs get a little wider as they get to the bottom. And then we're going to draw little circles on the bottom. Okay, perfect. Kind of like a Powerpuff Girl. Uh, <laughs> How about those? Okay, now uh, we give him his boots. And on old school Iron Man armor, he has these uh, metal bands on his boots. So we can do that. Kind of shape them. Those are his metal bands. We'll do the same thing on his gloves. Uh, the, well, he has the fingers here, but then he has gloves, um, and he has metal bands on his gloves. Give him some little stripies on his fingers, too. Uh, this big hand, you can give him some stripes on the fingers. Okay, and now we're going to draw his arc reactor, which Iron Man has. Now, if you look at Iron Man's armors, most of them are like this. He has some that look like that, which is kind of a Superman looking thing. Uh, some of them are, are this shape, uh, but we're going to go with the traditional uh, circle. So you can get rid of, let's get rid of some lines first. Uh, the line that comes up into his face, we can get rid of, because the chin overlaps the chest when he looks down. Okay. Uh, the line that runs down the middle, we just need to remember where it was, because we're going to put that circle right in there. Okay, we're still getting rid of some lines here. Then uh, we can get rid of the line on the bottom and the insides of the circles in his body, like that. Also, the leg connections. Okay, so I'll let you catch up. Uh, so for the legs, we're going to give them like metal underwear that Iron Man wears. Uh, so it does that, comes across, and then he has these lines on, on, his, on his underwear. Um, and da, 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 let's see, am I forgetting anything? Uh, we could give him some cool uh, fire if we want, that uh, he's, he's flying. And then you want to give him a word balloon. He can be saying 
whatever whatever you want him to say. Okay, and that is essentially Iron Man, and uh, you could, like I said, you can use that that technique to draw just about any character, and these are like virtually identical. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, these videos are being posted on the Orange Town Parks and Rec Facebook page. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback or even receive pictures of your family participating in the virtual classes. Uh, please send any comments or photos that we can use on our social media pages to recreation at orangetown.com. You want to read the next part? Bottom left. We hope that you and your families are staying home and staying healthy and following the recommendations of our state, county, and local officials as well as the CDC. These are unprecedented times for all of us. Please remember that each of us plays an important role in keeping all of us safe. Be well, and we look forward to seeing all of you very soon. Bye. Bye.